In the following video, you will learn how to perform an ABI measurement using the Macy M-Tablet ABI. Patient Preparation Instruct the patient to lie still and relax. During the measurement, the patient must be in a supine position, remain quiet and should not move. Cuff Placement The ABI measurement can be performed using four or three cuffs. With the Smart Arm algorithm in the four cuff measurement, the device automatically detects the arm with higher systolic blood pressure, which is then taken into consideration when calculating ABI. Follow the instructions on the screen to ensure correct cuff placement. Place the appropriate cuff on the corresponding arm and position it 1 to 2 centimeters above the elbow joint. Make sure that the arrow-shaped artery marking is in line with the brachial artery. Place the cuff so that there is two fingers width of room between the limb and the cuff. Check that you have chosen the correct size using the size marking and the OK area of the cuff. If the cuff is too small or too large, different cuff sizes are also available. Continue placing the cuffs on the corresponding legs as well and position them 2 to 3 centimeters above the ankle. Make sure that the arrow-shaped medial ankle marking points towards the inner side of the ankle. Place the cuff so that there is two fingers width of room between the limb and the cuff. If a patient has an amputated limb or is not compliant for ABI measurement due to severe wounds, the ABI can be measured only on the patient's compliant limbs. Before the measurement, you can deselect the limb that is not compliant for the measurement. Performing the measurement. Once the cuffs are correctly placed, press the start button to begin the measurement. During the measurement, the waveforms show oscillations of pressure for each extremity, while the number next to the oscillations displays the current pressure in the corresponding cuff. The progress bar shows the timeline of the ABI measurement. When the measurement process is completed, the left and right ABI results will be displayed on the screen along with the systolic and diastolic blood pressures of the arm that was used for the calculation. Pressing the Show More button will display more detailed information regarding the systolic and diastolic blood pressure measurement and the pulse rate, as well as matching the result on the reference scale. If you are uncertain about the result for any reason, you can easily repeat the measurement or consult with a specialist by sharing the measurement results or by pressing the printer icon, which will provide you with a printout of the selected measurement. Patient history holds an overview of previous measurements taken on the same patient. It shows the trend of the patient's results for left and right ABI on a specific date. A comment can be added to every measurement which will be stored and always available with the report. Result Interpretation The Macy M-Tablet ABI uses the PAD Sense Pattern Recognition Algorithm to automatically interpret the acquired pulse waveform and calculate the ABI result. However, to help an operator better understand the performed ABI measurement, the pulse waveform is available on the application's results screen. Combining both the ABI result and pulse waveform represents the best practice in evaluating the presence and severity of PAD. When the result, abnormally weak pulse, is displayed, 
there is a high probability of severe PAD or incompressible arteries. A pulse waveform without the typical shape or flattened waveform can be an indicator of severe PAD. The absence of the pulsations caused by occlusions in the artery makes it impossible to calculate the ankle pressures correctly. Instead of an ABI value, the device will display a PAD result indicating severe disease.